Hey everybody, Mikey Kid Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm here with uh, hiking with Sean and uh, doing a group hike out here that he's hosting at Rentalman Orchards in Southern Illinois. So it's gonna be kind of fun. It's a huge group. So let's check it out. I like to never kind of weather. Yep, the man, the myth, the legend there. A lot of folks out here. So we're just kind of stopping here for a moment. Uh, you know, let everybody group up. We're going to cross the highway. As Sean said we're going to be doing that a couple times. So that'd be fun. Be like Frogger. Uh, is it, is it, is it, I'm not too sure, Michelle may know, maybe a spice bush maybe? Is that what, what's growing there? Michelle's a better one with plants. <laughs> They only have a couple, which would lead me to believe they want the birds to take them and not the food or something. That, that only could one be. there and one there. Yeah. Well, can they're in mature water? They they put in yeah. water that mature. Hanging on the trees here. So there's a moth that gets on there and kind of eat, eats their stuff, and they they're using that to to catch it and be able to do scientific studies. To figure out how to stop that from happening, so I just kind of wanted to point that out and let everyone catch up. About ten years ago, they had like these purple boxes. Got some pumpkin patches over here, starting up on the side. I'm kind of wandering off on a lesser beaten path. Orchards here, little almost like crab apple type apples here on the side. the woods. Old bees. So yeah, we're down here uh, in the edge of the woods. Just got off the orchard trails and uh, just kind of waiting for everybody to kind of congregate down here before we move along. Of the hike. And, and like the, uh, Michelle was talking about, in the original 80-something acres that the farm started on in the 1800s, you know, they eventually gained this ground because they bought it, I'm sure, and they wanted to donate it to the railroad so they'll put a line through here to, to haul their stuff. And, and the railroad of all companies said, well, we're closing down, and if, if you want the land back that you gave us for free, you can buy it. <laughs> so we're walking on an old railroad, and... And, you know, back back when these old lines ran through southern Illinois, this whole region was just hustling and bustling. I mean, small towns. Uh, a, a town I grew up in was Hearst, if you've heard of it. It was a big-time railroad town. And when the railroad declined, they all just turned into a mixture of ghost towns and living ghost towns. So it's just kind of walking on some history. So... I guess I'm good point. Really cool cabin outfitter. So if you're looking for a place to stay in southern Illinois, Places like Cave Creek and other cabins throughout the region are just 
it just make the experience so much better. And even if you're local, me and Michelle, we stay in cabins all the time just to kind of have a little getaway from, you know, our house. So I just wanted to kind of say that. Be careful on the road. Well, we're coming up here on uh, Heart Attack Hill. <laughs> this hill wasn't so bad when I was on a pod bus. <laughs> Oh, made it up here alive. <laughs> so waiting for everybody to catch up. For you. Come up here and rest a little bit. Enjoy the drone. Oh, drone up there. A nice little pond over there. House. Nice little patch of grass going down to the boat dock. Go fishing out there. Pretty sweet. There's another road crossing. So that's the way we started earlier. All the cool farm equipment. Pop-up trailer. Bunch of tractor garages. That's good stuff. Look at all those wooden crates down there. So you got the Rendleman family home, estimated 1873. Kind of neat. Let's see the actual house up there. It's kind of a neat little place. Kind of reminds me of some of the orchards closer to my area. Got a little store up there, and uh, they got a nice little flower field and pumpkin patch area out there. Pretty cool. Wooded and wild. Cool little stuff here. This is uh, nice little fields you can go through for flowers. Little uh, place out there. Kind of neat. I'll walk amongst the flowers. I don't get to do this all the time. This is really neat out here, walking amongst all these wildflowers. Butterflies flying around me. And I think I see the elusive Sasquatch over there waving to me. So yeah, they got all these different wildflowers out here. I got a patch behind me and then they got this patch right in front of me, which is really beautiful. Just checking me out. They're real nice. I got a cool ring. And then I have the elusive Chamel here. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, uh-huh. You, you said it by her real name. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. Ah, grasshopper. Fish bait. <laughs> that little guy. We got a praying mantis here and a butterfly getting eaten. Wow. Chick 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 chickens. Cool chickadees. I think one of them laid an egg down there too.
everybody. If you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, hit that uh, notification bell, which just rang there. And uh, catch you again in the outdoors. As always, thanks for watching.